Hey guys, back with another video, and this video is going to be what all of you guys have been waiting for. Um, this is going to be my first jailbreaking an iPod Touch 2G um, video. So it's pretty simple, and I'm going to be using the Red Snow 0.3 beta, and it's not in GUI form, so that's either a good or bad thing. Good as in it's really quick and bad as in you won't be able to choose a boot logo right um, away but there is an application that I will be showing you guys in another video called Logomi which you can actually um, put any boot logo you want um, onto your startup for your iPod touch or iPhone so um, let's just get started right away and I'm gonna say this right now it's helped me in the past but I check off open iTunes when um, iPod is attached. I don't know why it just helped me in one jailbreak that I did for my friend's iPod like cause iTunes popped up one time I have no idea why but um, you're gonna wanna put your iPod into DFU mode first and basically how you do that is you hold the home and power button for 10 seconds and then the home button for about 8 seconds or more so let's do that right now so 1 2 3 Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then it should have another beep. See, it does take a little longer. There we go. Hopefully, you guys heard that. So I'm gonna move over to the computer now. And there we go. The iPod is in recovery mode. Now from here you're going to want to close iTunes and I'll have the link in the description for the Red Snow download over there so once it's opened you should have this the Red Snow folder now since we already put it into DFU mode Red Snow should just start right away and there is like a walkthrough thing on Red Snow that puts it into DFU mode along with you like not for you but it will tell you like hold this for that amount of time then that you know what I just did for you guys but here I'll open up red snow press run and it's gonna start DFU mode and it's already been successful and yeah so it should be going right now now right now I have a white screen and it's basically starting um, ahead also you should hear all these noises y yours will go through a whole nother process but since for some reason mine just skipped to the skipped to this um, because I've already jailbroken multiple times I guess and that somehow does something I guess but it should be still uploading all this stuff rebooting now you get this little spin thing and that basically just says that your iPod is rebooting and you just wait a little bit longer downloading jailbreaking data so I have really never had it done that before I don't know why but hopefully it will still work see there we go now it should show the pineapple which you guys might be familiar with with quick pone but um so it's basically doing all this stuff that you shouldn't really care about it's basically doing everything for you with a click of a button or DFU mode so flashing NOR no idea what that is but who cares You know what, I can move over here. No. So, it should get through this process really fast. And if you really wanted to, you could unplug your iPod right now because everything has been downloaded as of that picture, but I just keep it on. Also, I forgot to say, you don't need to restore your iPod unless you have jailbroken your iPod and are going to do it again. So, like, I had to restore mine, but if you, um, haven't jailbroken your iPod, or if your iPod isn't jailbroken, then you can just do this jailbreak right away. 
without having any problems. I don't know if there's any problems if you just try to jailbreak it again from a jailbroken, but I do know that um, from reading multiple things that you should restore it just in case, like, you know. So it's installing bundles. Hmm, just wait a little bit. Wow, it's taking uh, longer than it's ever taken me. So there we go, it's moving a little bit now. So yeah, so this jailbreak is completely safe because I have fixed multiple iPods from being frozen on the boot logo or anything. Oh yeah, and to prove that I have an iPod Touch 2nd gen, for those of you who don't believe me, there's that and there's that. So yeah, it should be rebooting right now. And depending, like I said, if you had restored your iPod or, um, see iTunes recognizes it now. Depending on if you restored your iPod or already had it jailbroken, it should e either show your apps or just have a freshly new home screen with Cydia. So, Cydia is basically the new installer, if you want to call it that, for people who have jailbroken their iPod. Um, from the 1 point to 1 point, whatever, like back then it was just installer. Um, so, but this is better than installer. You could get, you could get installer from Cydia, but I wouldn't recommend it. If you want a faster version that can also go into landscape, you're going to want to, um, get Icy. That is a, it's basically Cydia, but it's, it's faster, I guess. I don't really know, but yeah, so that's how you jailbreak your iPod. It's pretty easy. And I will be making more videos on jailbreaking if there happens to be a full version of Red Snow out, or I'm going to try to try Quick Freedom again because um, you guys might um, have heard of Quick Freedom, but what that is, it's a GUI jailbreak. But it, it requires libs, lib USB, sorry, um, and that it can, well, I'm running XP on a Vista computer, and I it's sort of screwing my internet up, so I might try to fix that and do a jailbreak with that, because some people prefer Quick Freedom, some people prefer Red Snow, Red Snow is 10 times better, in my opinion. And I'm going to be releasing a video of Logo Me, and I will get a custom boot logo, um, and show you guys how to do that. So, thanks for watching, and subscribe, rate 5 stars, favorite, do whatever, send me a message, ask questions, comment. So yeah.